Howdy, howdy, folks! It is Diecast Buffet here again with one of the most, like, honestly, just popular diecasts of the entire 2021 season, the Eric Jones Tide Food City Chevrolet Camaro that he ran at the Bristol Spring Dirt Race. So, uh, this is a really, really cool paint scheme. Definitely some Ricky Craven vibes to it. So, without further ado, let's go and get it out of the box. Alrighty, folks, run right out of that good old box and check out this freaking diecast. Look, this thing looks so cool, man. Whenever I first seen this diecast, or the really the, the paint scheme announcement for the Bristol Spring Race, the dirt race, I said, what a guide's green earth is this? And I started looking at the car more and more, and I realized this is an awesome looking car. I'm just going to throw that out there. So, uh, I got the Eric Jones. Um, it's the first Eric Jones 43, I think we're reviewing on the channel. Uh, I got the Chevrolet with bow ties there, Eric Jones on the name banner. You got the giant Tide logo right there on the hood. Looks so beautiful. Definitely some Ricky Craven vibes for, to it. Uh, I got the number 43. Notice there's a very, very fine kind of a, a polka, dot, polka dot uh, pattern on the front valence of the die cast uh, from the bottom splitter that kind of, uh, that's like a gradient, so to speak. It looks very, very sharp. I like that uh, nice detail to it. Got the Petty, uh, oh, I said Petty Enterprises, Petty uh, Motorsports, which that was the final year uh, for Petty Motorsports because they merged with uh, GMS and they became, what is it, Petty GMS, I think, something like that. So anyways, you can see more of that kind of uh, kind of an athlete uh, sportswear gradient you would see maybe on some shoes or a jersey or something. Looks really, really sharp. The white 43 with that dark blue kind of a kind of whoosh around it looks just looks so good. I don't know why, but there's so much going on with this paint scheme that it looks good, if that makes any sense. Um, so you got uh, Eric Jones right there on the uh, name banner. You got NASCAR race car, STP 50 year anniversary, uh, Cup Series, Goodyear. I like how they chose the yellow right there with that blue fin. Very, very good, ch uh, good choice right there. Whatever that is right there, Food City. What in the world is this? Oh my goodness, look at the shadow on the Tide logo. It literally looks like Minecraft pixel art. I mean, look at that. Look how pixelated and blocky the shadow is. And then look how beautiful the, the gradient is on this. It almost looks like snakeskin. That's how, like, sharp the detail is. How do they botch the, 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 the shadowing on that that badly? Oh, I know it's minor detail. You can't even tell it from this distance. But it's just, it blows my mind how sharp the fonts and gradients can be on another portion of the car. And then sometimes it completely drop the ball. Uh, you're going to need, uh, you're gonna need uh, some tide to clean that one up. Okay, safety clean right there. Mac Tools, STP, and Columbia outdoors let's go to the back end of the car here this looks really really sharp that petty blue the white uh trunk i mean the whole the whole back end of the car has just got that ricky craven white to it. it looks really cool and you could definitely tell this is what that paint scheme is inspired based on I, obviously i would love to see more of a gradient more of a day glow yellow and orange but they did a really good job much better than anything jtg doherty racing could do as a throwback Got Food City right there, ZL1 Camaro, Z1, 1LE, got the number 43 right there. A little bit of the white decal wrap is on the spoiler. Go to the right side of the die cast here, you can see the Food City decal is a little bit cut off, but I think that might be on cue. Obviously, you could tell um, the race car decal is a little far up there, but, you know, nonetheless, it's still a very, very cool looking die cast. And I have kind of a theory about this car that I'm really glad did not come true. So, one, I'm very glad they made this car, right? Really glad they did. But I also had, had kind of a theory what they were going to do with this paint scheme. And I'm just so glad they did not do it. And I'll explain here now. This is a, a car that was ran at the Dirt Bristol race. I was afraid they were going to make the front of this car have the Dirt Bristol grill. You know, that special grill they ran at that race. Possibly make it a raced version and have, you know, any type of modifications they would have had for it, right? No, they legit made this die cast the same way it would look if it was ran at Texas. Talladega, Martinsville. So I really like that how Lionel did that. How they made this just a normal paint scheme. And if you truly want to customize this and make it look like the Dirt Bristol version, you can. I love that. I love when they give people options. That's how it should be. Now I will say this. This is kind of one of my pet peeves here. And I'll, I'll, I'll touch on it real quick. So the 43 uh, on these die casts for, the, for whatever amount of years has been atrocious on the roof. This is how the 43 should look. Okay, check this out. The roof on the Petty's Garage 43 is true day glow. That is a beautiful fluorescent 43. That's how it's supposed to look. Why on God's green earth do they choose a burnt brown 43? I don't know what they're thinking. I, I, I really don't. They've been doing this as far back as, 
I want to say Eric Almarola in 2017. I don't know why. Just put Dayglow. They they ruined so many of, of, of the beautiful paint schemes Bubba had when he drove the 43 with this uh, horrid-looking burnt orange on the roof. I mean, look at the orange of the tide. Beautiful. And you just get this. It just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. That's just one of my little pet peeves. But they've shown they truly could do it. That's how the 43 should look right there. Beautiful day glow. Not whatever that is. So you got check it for Andretti right there on the on the roof flap. Unless there's another meaning to this and I'm I'm completely oblivious. Feel free to let me know. But as far as day glow, that is not day glow. Uh, I got Eric Jones right there. And I've, honestly, the 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 the, the back in the car it looks kind of bare bones, but it looks so clean. I don't know why. No sponsor logo on the deck lid actually looks really good for once. Anyways, um, I love this diecast, and this is one of the sleeper paint schemes. And you know. Every year we get a driver that just kind of gets a breakout release of diecast, you know. Every year it's like, okay, well, this guy is, maybe gets one car a year. Eric Elwarol is kind of that guy. You know, he has not had a true year of diecast releases. But Eric Jones for the 43 car, holy crap has he gotten a lot of paint schemes. And more of them are releasing. Think about it. You got this one here, the Food City joint. You got the Armor All car, which I'm so glad we helped get that thing made, even though the, the roof number's goofy. I remember helping get that one pre-ordered and everything, so I'm so glad everyone got that car made. You got the Petty's Garage. You got the RP Funding car. I have that on top of my little studio here. I can't really get to it because there's five cars on top of it that I got to review because we got so many God-given 2021 cars to get caught up on. So, uh, just very, very fortunate and blessed to have these things. And uh, that's a great segue to... We got a crap load of stuff to review here on the channel. So, if you haven't already, fellas, please subscribe for more NASCAR Diecast content. We got more stuff coming up here. I'm going to try to get two of these reviews out every day to get caught up. A massive January show shipment is coming in so uh there's gonna be a lot more diecast to re to be reviewed all leading up to the 2022 daytona 500 gonna be a lot of fun guys and and of course if you're wanting to get some nascar diecast for your collection or just pre-order some of the new 2022 stuff guys it's the brand new year uh, make sure to check out my promo code down below for free shipping on any orders 20 dollars more same as youtube username diecast buffet use it at checkout for circle b diecast and plan b sales so what do y'all think about this diecast my, my conclusion with this, the paint scheme is so all over the place that it's beautiful. That's my theory with this thing. It's got a little bit of Ricky Craven in it, but it also has a little bit of the um, the 2002 Ricky Craven Tide Clean Breeze Ford. If you've never seen it, it has kind of like some blue all over it with the normal Tide colors. That's what it truly reminds me of. This paint scheme is so all over the place, but I freaking love it. Thank God we had Tide back in the Cup Series in 2021. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Hope you're having a swell day out there. Diecast. Buffet. Sign it off.